Agrarianism is a social philosophy or political philosophy which values rural society as superior to urban society and the independent farmer as superior to the paid worker, and sees farming as a way of life that can shape the ideal social values. It stresses the superiority of a simpler rural life as opposed to the complexity of city life. Philosophy M. Thomas Inger defines agrarianism by the following basic tenets Farming is the sole occupation that offers total independence and self-sufficiency. Urban life, capitalism, and technology destroy independence and dignity and foster vice and weakness. The agricultural community, with its fellowship of labor and cooperation, is the model society. The farmer has a solid, stable position in the world order. They have a sense of identity, a sense of historical and religious tradition, a feeling of belonging to a concrete family, place, and region, which are psychologically and culturally beneficial. The harmony of their life checks the encroachments of a fragmented, alienated modern society. Cultivation of the soil has within it a positive spiritual good, and from it the cultivator acquires the virtues of honor, manliness, self-reliance, courage, moral integrity, and hospitality. They result from a direct contact with nature and, through nature, a closer relationship to God. The agrarian is blessed in that they follow the example of God in creating order out of chaos. History The philosophical roots of agrarianism include European and Chinese philosophers. The Chinese school of agriculturalism, Nongjia Nongjia was a philosophy that advocated peasant utopian communalism and egalitarianism. In societies influenced by Confucianism, the farmer was considered an esteemed productive member of society, but merchants who made money were looked down upon. That influenced European intellectuals like François Quesnay, an avid Confucianist and advocate of China's agrarian policies, informing the French agrarian philosophy of physiocracy. The physiocrats, along with the ideas of John Locke and the Romantic era, formed the basis of modern European and American agrarianism. United States President 1801 Thomas Jefferson was a representative agrarian who built Jeffersonian democracy around the notion that farmers are the most valuable citizens and the truest republicans. <laughs> <laughs> agrarian parties Peasant parties first appeared across Eastern Europe between 1860 and 1910, when commercialized agriculture and world market forces disrupted traditional rural society, and the railway and growing literacy facilitated the work of roving organizers. Agrarian parties advocated land reforms to redistribute land on large estates among those who work it. They also wanted village cooperatives to keep the profit from crop sales in local hands and credit institutions to underwrite needed improvements. Many peasant parties were also nationalist parties because peasants often worked their land for the benefit of landlords of different ethnicity. Peasant parties rarely had any power before World War I but some became influential in the interwar era, especially in Bulgaria and Czechoslovakia. For a while, in the 1920s and the 1930s, there was a Green International International Agrarian Bureau based on the peasant parties in Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Poland, and Serbia. It functioned primarily as an information center that spread the ideas of agrarianism and combating socialism on the left and landlords on the right and never launched any significant activities. Tunisia The Farmers' Voice Party won a seat in the district of Genduba after the parliamentary election of 2014. Topic Europe Topic Bulgaria In Bulgaria, the Bulgarian Agrarian National Union BZNS was organized in 1899 to resist taxes and build cooperatives. BZNS came to power in 1919 and introduced many economic, social, and legal reforms. 
However, conservative forces crushed BZNS in a 1923 coup and assassinated its leader, Alexander Stambuliski BZNS was made into a communist puppet group until 1989, when it reorganized as a genuine party. <laughs> Czechoslovakia In Czechoslovakia, the Republican Party of Agricultural and Smallholder People often shared power in Parliament as a partner in the five-party Petka coalition. The party's leader, Antonin Svela (1873–1933), was prime minister several times. It was consistently the strongest party, forming and dominating coalitions. It moved beyond its original agrarian base to reach middle-class voters. The party was banned by the National Front after the Second World War. Topic: France. In France, the hunting, fishing, nature, tradition party is a moderate conservative, agrarianist party, reaching a peak of 4.23% in the 2002 French presidential election. It would later on become affiliated to France's main conservative party, Union for a Popular Movement. Ireland. In the late 19th century, the Irish National Land League aimed to abolish landlordism in Ireland and enable tenant farmers to own the land they worked on. The Land War of 1878-1909 led to the Irish Land Acts, ending absentee landlords and ground rent and redistributing land among peasant farmers. Post-independence, the Farmers' Party operated in the Irish Free State from 1922, folding into the National Centre Party in 1932. It was mostly supported by wealthy farmers in the east of Ireland. Clan N. A. Talman family of the land, also called the National Agricultural Party was founded in 1938. They focused more on the poor smallholders of the West, supporting land reclamation, afforestation, social democracy and rates reform. They formed part of the governing coalition of the government of the 13th Doyle and government of the 15th Doyle. Economic improvement in the 1960s saw farmers vote for other parties and Clan N. A. Talman disbanded in 1965. <inaudible> <inaudible> Latvia In Latvia, the Union of Greens and Farmers is supportive of traditional small farms and perceives them as more environmentally friendly than large-scale farming. Nature is threatened by development, while small farms are threatened by large industrial-scale farms. Topic: <inaudible> Lithuania. <inaudible> In Lithuania, as of 2017, the government is led by the Lithuanian Farmers and Greens Union, under the leadership of industrial farmer Ramunas Karborskis. Poland In Poland, the Polish People's Party traces its tradition to an agrarian party in Austro-Hungarian-controlled Galician Poland. After the fall of the communist regime, PPP's biggest success came in 1993 elections, where it won 132 out of 460 parliamentary seats. Since then, PPP support has steadily declined. <laughs> Romania In Romania, older parties from Transylvania, Moldavia, and Wallachia merged to become the National Peasants' Party in 1926. Uliu was a prime minister with an agrarian cabinet from 1928 to 1930 and briefly in 1932-1933, but the Great Depression made proposed reforms impossible. The communist regime dissolved the party in 1947, but it reformed in 1989 after they fell from power. The Reformed Party, which also incorporated elements of Christian democracy in its ideology, governed Romania as part of the Romanian Democratic Convention between 1996 to 2000. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Serbia. In Serbia, Nikola Pašić 1845 to 1926 and his People's Radical Party dominated Serbian politics after 1903. 
The party also monopolized power in Yugoslavia from 1918 to 1929. During the dictatorship of the 1930s, the prime minister was from that party. Topic: <inaudible> Ukraine. In Ukraine, the radical party of Ole Lyashko has promised to purify the country of oligarchs with a pitchfork. The party advocates a number of traditional left-wing positions, lower salary taxes, a ban on agricultural land sale and eliminating the illegal land market, a tenfold increase in budget spending on health, setting up primary health centers in every village, and mixes them with strong nationalist sentiments. Topic: Oceania Topic. Australia Historian F. K. Crowley finds that Australian farmers and their spokesmen have always considered that life on the land is inherently more virtuous, as well as more healthy, more important and more productive, than life in the towns and cities. The farmers complained that something was wrong with an electoral system which produced parliamentarians who spent money beautifying vampire cities instead of developing the interior. The National Party of Australia, formerly called the Country Party, from the 1920s to the 1970s, promulgated its version of agrarianism, which it called countrymindedness. The goal was to enhance the status of the graziers, operators of big sheep ranches, and small farmers and justified subsidies for them. Topic. New Zealand The New Zealand Liberal Party aggressively promoted agrarianism in its heyday 1891-1912. The landed gentry and aristocracy ruled Britain at this time. New Zealand never had an aristocracy but its wealthy landowners largely controlled politics before 1891. The Liberal Party set out to change that by a policy it called populism. Richard said and had proclaimed the goal as early as 1884. It is the rich and the poor, it is the wealthy and the landowners against the middle and labouring classes. That, sir, shows the real political position of New Zealand. The liberal strategy was to create a large class of small landowning farmers who supported liberal ideals. The liberal government also established the basis of the later welfare state such as old age pensions and developed a system for settling industrial disputes, which was accepted by both employers and trade unions. In 1893, it extended voting rights to women, making New Zealand the first country in the world to do so. To obtain land for farmers, the Liberal government from 1891 to 1911 purchased 3,100,000 acres 1,300,000 hectares of Maori land. The government also purchased 1,300,000 acres hectares from large estate holders for subdivision and closer settlement by small farmers. The Advances to Settlers Act 1894 provided low-interest mortgages, and the Agriculture Department disseminated information on the best farming methods. The Liberals proclaimed success in forging an egalitarian, anti-monopoly land policy. The policy built up support for the Liberal Party in rural North Island electorates. By 1903, the Liberals were so dominant that there was no longer an organised opposition in Parliament. Topic. Back to the land movement Agrarianism is similar to but not identical with the back to the land movement. Agrarianism concentrates on the fundamental goods of the earth, on communities of more limited economic and political scale than in modern society, and on simple living, even when the shift involves questioning the progressive character of some recent social and economic developments. Thus, agrarianism is not industrial farming, with its specialization on products and industrial scale. <laughs> See also